Right, here we go, my lovers. Um, I was going to go metal detecting today, but it decided to suddenly rain that it was not forecast. So I thought I'd stay in and give you a nice little show you this guide that uh, I use for looking for places to metal detect. Right, so here we have it's called the Rural Settlement of Roman Britain, an online resource. I don't know why they call it Britain because it doesn't cover Scotland and Northern Ireland. I thought Britain en encompassed those two. Still, it should be a, a Roman settlement resource of, of England, really. Right, so here we, on this side we've got all these little check boxes, handy little check boxes. Uh, if we decide to say click on coins, we get a few coins in England. Uh, brooches. Oh, so it looks like a piece of art. Um, inhumations. Oh, white speckled Jim. Uh, now we'll get rid of those ones and click them. I quite like this one down the bottom here. It says Roman roads. Cool, look at that. It's like a patchwork quilt. Spider's web of, of roads going everywhere. So what I thought I'd do is uh, let's zoom in on um, a particular town. Uh, let's go into was it where is it to? It's near Bath. Here we are Bradford upon Avon. No particular Roman roads going through there. And then what we want to do is we go over to these check boxes here and we check all the check boxes. So all sites, I don't know what that means. Farms, farms enclosure, complexes, field systems, roadside settlements, temples, shrines, Pottery, salt production, Vicus Villa, uh, Samian Pottery. Let's get through all the. Let's get through all these check boxes. So we've got all the check boxes, so we've got all sorts of things going on. But we're on Bradford upon Avon, because I've sort of pre-selected that one. So we go in. Right. Now one of the other things you can do, and I do quite a lot of, is you want to go over to your council's website. So I'll bring this page up here. Uh, you want to look in, you look up, put, uh, put these two little comma things next to each other, you know, on your keyboard. And that that just gives that allows you to search a particular phrase so this is archaeological evaluation right so you do those two little dots you put site the two little dots side by side up, up and over uh, dot uh, in this case i'm going to do wilkshire so we've got wilkshire.glove.uk that's the council's website uh, the next word roman and uh, put in bradford upon avon like with the two little dots look to so it searches that phrase and then when you've done that search you get this list of all of these archaeological evaluations and we've got 114 of them just for Bradford Bradford upon Avon so you know that's a lot of uh, archaeological evaluations there's one here by Wessex archaeology Ah, yes. And I've picked out one here that I've got already. I especially like this um, uh, archaeological evaluation. Uh, UK Land Forces, Wilton Proposed Redevelopment. If we scroll down, get past all the gumph. This, this one's really detailed. Yeah, background into all this uh, redevelopment and uh, what you know what's going to be there um, let's um, where's it gone out ah, of that one 
if we go to find find uh, I got coin already tapped in if I tap that now it goes down to where's it gone ah here we go a list Romano British coin AD 271 to 274 to yeah um, and it tells you about this coin that's been found on this land and not only does it do that but it also gives you the grid reference to the exact location the coin was found um, we go down to the next one here is another coin another Romano British coin and the again the exact grid reference to where the coin was found and another one. Oh, Iron Age, Iron Age coin. Oh, that's a, is that a gold stator? Again, the exact location to where the coin was found. This is probably all found by local metal detectorists. And this um, desk based assessment. Is it desk based assessment? Um, desk based. Oh yeah, desk-based assessment is all done by somebody in an office getting all of the details about all of the fine spots that uh, metal detectorists have made and um, are publishing it, basically. And you can also get, um, let's scroll back, where is it to? It was here, I just went past it. Let's, let's try this one. Ah. Also, some of these uh, evaluations archaeological evaluations gives you like really old maps you know that gives you a nice little map there even really really old maps look and yet all these little dots all indicate something what do they mean uh, non-designated heritage asset whatever that is could be a coin could be a fine spot for a coin for all I know and again these are all triangles all listed buildings and this is the site so a lot of this stuff is all found nearby and I think these um, you put in this archaeological evaluation and you highlight it to make it a phrase so it, it just searches the phrase uh, wiltshire.dove.uk put in Roman or you could put in Iron Age um, let's put in Iron Age. Search. Uh, here we go, Iron Age Fort in Wiltshire, near Bradford Pond, even. <laughs> so, yeah, you get. How many came up that time? There are 42 results. So all this information is all on council websites. Council websites are dead handy. Right, cheers my lovers. Hopefully I'll be out tomorrow doing a bit of metal detecting. Cheers.